And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November 25th, 2021. As we head into day 329 of the year, you can see extratropical cyclone Patty is the only active thing around the world at this time. We have 88 storms that have formed so far this year, with the average being 92. We're getting close to that average, have about one more month to get there. As we head into the Atlantic Ocean, we're on day 177 of the hurricane season. Only five days left. December 1st marks the end of the hurricane season. No sign of Adria in sight at this time. The Atlantic hurricane season looks like it might end off with 21 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 4 majors. We'll just have to see what December brings. In the Eastern Pacific Ocean, we're into day 193 of the hurricane season, with five days of hurricane season left there as well, December 1st marking the end of the season over there. With 19 named storms, 9 hurricanes, and 2 major hurricanes being what things look like at this time, can't rule out one or two more named storms heading into December, although it's quite unlikely. As we head into the Western Pacific, no storms are currently active, and we're not expecting any to become active anytime soon. The season currently has 19 named storms, 9 typhoons, and 4 majors, making it one of the most inactive seasons we've seen in quite a while. As we head into the Northern Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal, and the Arabian Sea, you can see Invest 93A there with a 0% chance of formation, likely to bring some heavy rains as it does make landfall. We've had five named storms in the basin, three cyclones, and one major. In the Southern Indian Ocean, you can see Invest 91S there now upgraded to a 10% chance of formation, slightly higher than what we had yesterday. You can see that small area uh, where it could form. If it did form, it would be a very brief tropical depression or storm before dissipating. No impacts to land are currently expected. As we head into the Australian region, you can see their extratropical cyclone Paddy. It's not really expected to do anything in regards to its striking land. It has no convection associated with it whatsoever, and we can expect it to dissipate within the next day or two if it doesn't do so sooner. It's the only named storm that's occurred so far in the Australian region this season, although we expect that to change over the coming months. As we head into the Southern Pacific, you can see no storms are currently active. Again, we expect that to change. No storms have happened yet in the Southern Pacific cyclone season. But again, as we head into December, January, and February, we can say with near certainty that that's going to change. As we look at the North Atlantic satellite imagery, you can see there a particularly broad and potent low pressure area just to the north of Bermuda. No chance of that becoming a tropical cyclone as it does have quite a bit of dry air and is very frontal. There's also an area south of the Azores that looks quite interesting. Lots of lightning associated with that. That is frontal as well. That's exclusively powered by baroclinic energy. That won't be becoming a tropical cyclone anytime soon. No tropical cyclones are currently expected to form anytime soon in the North Atlantic. In the Eastern Pacific, we have clusters of thunderstorms, but given the current La Nina, wind shear, and dry air in the region. No expectations for tropical cyclones are currently in place. We're not expecting any tropical cyclones anytime soon, despite the clusters of thunderstorms near the equator. In the Western Pacific, you can see some organized clusters of thunderstorms there. To the east of the Philippines, those aren't expected to become much of anything. And you can see there the equatorial thunderstorms from the Philippines into the south. Again, nothing really expected to come out of those as dry air, wind shear, uh, both of those things are expected to impede any sort of tropical cyclone development over the next few days. While in the Indian Ocean, you can see there are quite a few clusters of thunderstorms near the equator. Something could develop out of those, although we're not expecting much of anything over the next few days. It's something to watch over the next few weeks. And as we head into the Australian region, the most active region around the world right now, you can see extratropical cyclone Paddy completely stripped of its convection and thunderstorms, and 91S having a cluster of thunderstorms of its own being sheared to the south. Again, we're not expecting that storm to develop, but we're not ruling it out completely. That's why we have a 10% chance of formation given. In the Southern Pacific, you can see here rather clearly a very potent low pressure system there that is whirling southward well to the east of Fiji there. Uh, that is not expected to do much of anything. It will not be becoming a tropical cyclone. And the cluster of thunderstorms over Vanuatu bringing heavy rain and possibly some strong winds, but nothing more than that. And no tropical cyclone formation is currently expected. As we do look at sea surface temperatures around the world, you can see the hot spot there is the Western Pacific Ocean and the Australian region, with the Indian Ocean looking rather strong in sea surface temperatures as well. The Atlantic and Eastern Pacific are looking relatively weak in comparison. When we take a look at the global sea surface temperatures, that La Nina is looking very potent there in the Eastern Pacific, even stretching into the Western Pacific. This is looking like it's getting awfully close to what could begin to be a basin-wide La Nina, first one we've seen in quite a while. 
And as we take a look at what happened on this day six years ago, Hurricane Sandra was rapidly intensifying in the Eastern Pacific and would end up peaking a day later as a Category 4 before it did get ever closer to Mexico. Never did end up making landfall there though. In fun, the Western Pacific is in its last uh, ending stages of its life and will be dissipating within the next couple of days at this point. Well, let's take a look at current storm names. We've gotten all the way to Wanda in the Atlantic Ocean. We're still waiting on Adria, unlikely to form at this point. Terry is the latest name in the Eastern Pacific with Vivian being the next thing that we're looking for. And Hone has yet to Hone itself into the Central Pacific at this point. We're not expecting anything really to be coming up in the Central Pacific anytime soon. In the Western Pacific, we're expecting really nothing anytime soon, but Naito would be the next name in the Western Pacific if something was to form, and Jod would be the next name in the Northern Indian Ocean if something were to form there. In the Australian region, we've had Patty so far, which would be followed by Ruby whenever that ends up forming, and we're still waiting on Anna and Cody in the Southwest Indian Ocean and Southern Pacific.